Welcome, dear listeners. This is your host, George, and you're tuning into Murders with George. As we journey through tonight's episode, keep your lights dimmed, doors locked, and your senses heightened because, though none of what we discuss may be real, our minds often play tricks to add to the horror. Tonight we delve into the chilling narrative of the sadistic serial killer, known famously as the Sculptor. The tale of the Sculptor stems from a quaint, little town in Virginia. Being a close-knit community, dark mysteries weren't something the town's folk were prepared for, but it didn't take long for the peace to shatter. The Sculptor was not your typical murderer. He was an artist that used terror as his tool murder his canvas, and blood symbolized his deepest secrets. The first victim was found in the heart of autumn when the leaves had just started to wither. She was meticulously posed as though her lifeless body was part of a sculpture, her face frozen in an expression of horror. The crime scene screamed of a morbid fascination, a petrifying masterpiece of sorts. As weeks passed, more sculptures surfaced around town. Each victim was placed artistically with so much precision and detail that it soon became evident. Someone was trying to tell a story through these horrors. Came spring, the sculptor fell silent. Nobody knew if the piece was here to stay, but everyone hoped it was real. That's when young Mary Sullivan disappeared. A wall-like librarian known for her love for gothic literature and folklore, she was the beacon of hope in these grim times. The day Mary disappeared, The locals found the sculpture's horror gallery's final piece. It was Mary herself, posed in a position that eerily echoed the legend of Pandora's box, a tale she often narrated for the town's children. The connection was too uncanny to be overlooked. With the conclusion of the sculptural killings, it became apparent that the sculptor wasn't just a random psychopath. The victims, the timing, the stories tied to each horror piece, it all made sense now. The sculptor had made art out of his psychosis, and in the process, became a figure of terror in the town's folklore. Mary's brother, a detective, never stopped looking. One day, he discovered a cipher hidden within the sculptures, a morose secret the sculptor shared with his audience. Each sculpture represented a sin, and the sculptor was in his twisted way performing a purging ritual on the town. Despite its resolution, the tale never ceases to incite fear. One cannot help but ask, who was the sculptor? And, most importantly, did he ever really stop? Wherever he might be, the mere mention of the sculptor sends a chilling whisper through the once peaceful town. The town remembers, the victims live on in these horrific tales, and the sculptor, he lives on in the fear that he left behind. As the sculptor's tale wraps up, listeners, remember, the world is dark and full of horrors but the real terror often lies in what we don't see or understand. Tune in next week as we uncover another terrifying tale on Murders with George. Good night, and don't let the horrors bite.